Happy Tuesday, Pigtopia! I am so excited to be back with the guinea pigs after some time away, and they seem like they're happy for me to be here too. Today we're going to be speaking about dressing guinea pigs up because we have reached the season of costumes! We've already passed one major milestone and there are just more to come. So, if you like content about fluffy potatoes, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned because we've got a lot coming up for you. relationship with guinea pigs and costumes started last year when my company had a costume contest for people's pets so that we could feel closer to each other given the lockdown remote working situation. During this time I was inundated with adorable pictures of dogs and cats that were wearing Halloween costumes. Some were from advertisers, others were for my friends, and I really wanted to partake in this but I knew that there were some limitations on what I would and would not do with regard to costumes for my guinea pigs. It occurred to me that what I really wanted to do was dress my guinea pigs up as the breakfast poster from Parks and Rec. I got inspired by some costumes that I had seen made out of recyclables and decided to try my hand doing that as well. And the guinea pigs were less than impressed. They had no desire to participate. All they wanted to do was get these little pieces of cardboard off of them. I tried distracting them with treats. No luck. No interest. It wasn't for them. At this point, you may be wondering why I didn't just buy a costume that was made for a small dog and put it on them. I considered that, I really did, but it occurred to me that this is not ideal, especially for guinea pigs, but really for any pet. They have no idea what's going on, they have their fur, and that's for them. Listen, little kids don't even like putting on full body costumes and they have an idea of what's going on with that. Why would a guinea pig who has zero idea about any human customer tradition be okay with putting a whole new case all over the case that they are already in, which is their fur and skin? To better illustrate this, I decided to enlist the help of my jelly bean guinea pig stress ball things. They don't make a mess, so if you are at pet level zero, this may be the choice for you. These are also a great option if you cannot help yourself and absolutely must dress an animal in a costume. These come with their own costumes and I am going to show you what it takes to get them put in that costume. And these don't even squirm, move around, or have autonomous desires. So let's give this a shot and you tell me what the correct choice is for dressing a pet in a costume. alternative, what I would like to suggest is getting some sort of hat or something that you can just set on your guinea pig as they wish and you can take a photo then. If you've invested the time to get your guinea pig to love you and trust you, then this should not be a problem. You just gotta be patient about it and eventually the guinea pig will let you put the hat on them and you can snap a quick picture. We hope this video has been helpful in making the upcoming holiday season as joyous as you could want it to be, and that perhaps if this video helped you make your plans, you might even consider sharing it to your friends so that they and their pigs can have just as much safe, happy fun this year. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next time. Be cute. Bye.